All right, just making a quick video. This is the EcoFlow Delta Mini, and this applies to all of the EcoFlow units, and uh, even some other brands as well. If they have an app, usually they'll have a, a similar setting. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video talking about why you should use this setting. And uh, this is actually uh, really important. So uh, let's just jump right into it, right? So EcoFlow calls this setting the uh, discharge charge setting. And um, what it does is it limits the top end or the bottom end of the battery's capacity. And it'll actually stop charging or, um, you know, turn the unit off if you're using it, um, when it once it hits those percentages. And why is this so important? Well, this, this basically limits the depth of discharge. So if you've seen that before, a lot of times they have it, um, you know, DOD. And um, depth of discharge can actually really extend your battery's life, right? So the number of life cycles, um, you know, and, and how long it's going to be able to hold capacity, right? Or capacity above 80%. So um, this is something that you just need to be using. It's a, it's a real simple setting. And um, even if, if, if you're the type of person that, like, you know, you want to get the most out of your battery, that's fine. Even then, I would just recommend setting it to, like, 5% on the low end and 95% on the high end. And we're going to talk about that and why this is so important. So basically, you know, whenever you use your battery, no matter what you're doing, no matter what the percentage is at, right? And this applies to lithium-ion NMC and lithium-ion LFP or lithium iron phosphate, right? It applies to both. Now, obviously, LFP, you get more life cycles just, you know, right out of the, the gate. But um, this kind of thing happens to both chemistries, right? So even if you have LFP, you should be doing this as well is, is basically the point I'm trying to get to. Um, so basically what happens is when you're using the battery, you know, cycling up and down, no matter what you're doing, no matter what the percentage is at, you know, it's, it's just over time, it just wears it out, right? I'm just going to try to keep this simple and not too scientific. But yeah, I mean, it just wears it out, right? And you end up getting less and less capacity over time. Well, when you charge... Uh, one of these units all the way up to 100%, what you're basically doing is fast tracking that whole process, right? Like, I mean, if you want to like speed up the process at which your battery degrades and loses capacity, charge it up to 100%, right? That's basically what you're doing. And, um, and the same thing is true when you discharge it all the way to 0%. But um, there's actually... Um, an extra thing that kind of happens when you discharge the zero percent that makes it even worse, right? So if you're going to do one or the other, you know, I would recommend if, if you really want to, if you really want to charge it all the way up to 100 percent, then, you know, definitely limit it, the bottom end, right? Put it at 10, 15 percent at least, um, maybe even 20 percent, right? And the reason is when you go all the way down to zero on these batteries, um, there's actually some, some changes that occur within inside of the battery cell, right? And what this actually ends up doing is increasing the resistance in the battery. And uh, as you know, if you've watched any of my other videos talking about um, ways to, to kind of increase your battery's uh, life, lifetime, I've talked about one of the most important things is just understanding the relationship between the heat and how that actually degrades the battery. And um, so basically, just to recap, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, you know, whenever you're charging or discharging, you're creating heat inside of the battery. And the faster those rates are, the more heat you're creating, right? And this heat is actually what degrades the battery and will actually um, reduce your life cycles, right? And again, this is, this is NMC or LFP, okay? Now, obviously, LFP, it's you're less affected by this, by the heat, but it's the same process, right? And so this, this kind of thing, when you discharge to 0%, you're really screwing over your battery because now from now on, you've, you're going to create more resistance inside that battery. And what happens is whenever you do anything from now on, you know, that the heat that would be generated inside that battery there's going to be more heat, right? So it doesn't matter if you're doing slow charge, fast charge, whatever, whatever heat would have been created with a healthy battery, 
when you keep like discharging down the zero percent and even worse if if you let it sit there for a pro prolonged time you create more resistance inside the battery and you're going to everything you do from that point on you're creating more heat <laughs> right so you're just you're really screwing yourself because now everything every time you go to use this unit you're creating more and more heat inside that battery than what you would have created and that heat like i said is what actually um, degrades the battery so no matter what you do you're going to be degrading the battery at an accelerated rate compared to if you hadn't discharged down to zero so just make sure you use this setting right and um, it doesn't matter what you set it to just uh, just use it um, this is what I like to have mine set to but you know anything is better than zero and a hundred so um, yeah so hopefully someone finds this helpful or interesting and uh, and yeah thanks for watching